now we get to the Iron Park lookout. Let's make a sound check at this, at this point. And it crashed. Okay. All right. So this game, new game. So I haven't played this before. This is the fourth episode. Last episode was was pretty chill. <laughs> Just house sitting. Hey, I noticed you were questioning story submissions via watching YouTuber play Fiesta Phantom Carson House. But I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. Uh, it feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As, as I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Okay. I'm Jack Nelson, had a so small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the forestry service. I had salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment was so far being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot, lot of financial help for my dad. That RV was one the only sense of home I had that time. This one time I was transferred from the one outpost to another because of some official, official circumstances. It was minor inconvenience to me through to tow since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said few good buys and was off to a new location. It was about the two hour drive. Oh no, we can we can This is going to end end up horribly. They, they let us drive. Uh, no hands! <laughs> okay. Did you pass the Roseburg yet? No, why? Live it very solitary life. Drawing distance could be a bit, bit, bit farther away in this game. Also, my car is wobbling a bit. I must love to create outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature give me ha gives me happiness. Well, probably not anymore after this game. I felt like I was home in the woods. They have best burgers in town. You have to try them. Diner. So where's the diner? Birch. 
Rosberg. Diner. Okay, nice. Florida recon, okay. He has a really nice RV here. I don't know how the plates are holding up, but yeah, sure. I think I just parked in the wrong position. Oh no. You are walking. Alright, oh, that looks nice. Welcome to the tw Twin River Diner. How are you do doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to uh, take any seat with you, you like, and I'll be right with you. Oh, Alright, thank you. Can I have cheeseburger? Are you ready to order? Yes. Cheeseburger with fries. Or Coke. That will be all, thank you. I had had this habit of being before eating. That's pr probably good, good tactic that way. Not the other way around. I really had to pee. Yes, po postal simulator. I spilled. Yep, that happens. Still, still have dangerous doors. He has a shovel. He brought a shovel to a diner. Okay. Consuming. I'm consuming a hamburger. How was it? I'm still still eating it. This is so good. Reminds me, you should send me a task casual receive. That was great. Check, please. Thanks. On my way home, send you in a bit. So, casual roll.
that actually happens when you hand model the character walking. It's easy, easy like you have me at the with the skis. 15% drift. Pretty nice RV. Tasty food here. <laughs> yep. That's what they all say, but apparently this was pretty good. I left my door open. <laughs> what's what's left? And he left the car running. I wasn't very really proud of my driving. Yeah, he's filled up with hamburgers, so. And to include the location of this park. But I don't want to anyone seeking out the other horrors I've seen in those woods. I drove the past the trail first, oh no. my RV into a full trail. Horrible driving. Somebody else's RV. Gate D. Okay. Anyone here? No? Okay. There's probably someone in the tower. <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. What a who? Hey Lord, have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit piece? You're a little, right? I'm the new transferred fire lookout. I know... Didn't know we... Who's behind there? I didn't know where we have, were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. So who's there? Okay, Perry, you're good uh, to go. Staffed at Fire Tower 11. Apologize for the confusion. I was on, under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed the day season. But here are the, your keys. Let me open the trade gate for you. Uh, you might need also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. 
Not that need number one. You be careful, take this. Welcome to Iron Park, pal. Make your first report. Reach out to Tower 12. I'll be your closest contact. In case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Okay, you look scary. Hey. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so not of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that vape, pal. Bobcats and bears. Got the, got, you got it. Dead serious. Oh, I can't, can't right there. I need to hike. Okay. No bikes, only horses. Stay on the trail. Left my back in that RV at first. Yeah, let's let's take the bag. Throw the back. <laughs> Starting to get gold tower eleven. One five five. Nine two five zero zero. Tower eleven. It would be cool if the game designers would hit developers would hit something something to see in every scene. Look at this radio tower. Tower, Lazy Trail, Cold Creek, okay. Living a fire tower is not a glamorous job. I, I suppose. I mean, I, me, I imagine being out here alone se uh, for weeks at times and had a fondness for the outdoors. Send it the stairs up to the tower, top of the tower. Okay, this this trail probably. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guest in the lookout. System password is Iron Bark. Tower number. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Uh, remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Okay. Those are forget to t 
turn on, on the generator. Yeah, I suppose. That was the shit bad down there. No, it's below. So what's here? That's the toilet. Okay, let's boot up the computer. Rainbow <laughs> 98. Uh, Iron Park 11. <laughs> Play kicks. <laughs> okay. Mount Misery. Okay, so... Radio Tower. So we came from here. So the... Tower 12 is somewhere around here. Spyrox, Split Rock. Camping site. Start the fire. Okay, so they have a stove. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. So what's that? No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyway. Better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Gasoline, okay. That's a gasoline. You shouldn't need gasoline to light up fire, by the way. Although this this must be like fresh wood. The dry wood.
That is actually a realistic amount of logs you can carry with one hand. Okay, so temperature, wind speed, weather condition, number of hikers assisted. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. Uh-huh. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire! Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is, it may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records right. of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. <laughs> scientifically? <laughs> collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. Uh -huh. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Right. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Right. So, um, uh, twenty knots. Jack Nelson. Something didn't look right. Okay, so.
Something didn't look right. Okay, what's the... Condition. It's in, well, it's windy. Uh, uh, forty-four point five. Okay, I click click the left button. Right weather condition. Okay. Box bite. Okay, so there's a number four hasn't reported. Hikers assisted. <laughs> the Resident Evil. So this is basically a wave shooter. Gotta say the guys have <laughs> had like pretty fun with this game. So let, let's make a quake as a as a mini game. They are going somewhere. Sure. 
good, good start, time to start missing. Okay. To health. <laughs> Score more than <laughs> five hundred in a mini game. Nice. This is basically a wave shooter. Okay, that that that's it. That's enough. All right. So, uh, closed my ports outside before heading to bed. Okay. Because then the game can actually make you a <laughs> make a jump scare for you. Okay, so you can't actually close everything because then one one of them is missing. Out of my cabin strength gave me a strange feeling. Unsettling. What? Okay, so he just pees uh, over the edge. Yeah. But not against the wind. Hey, there's somebody here, there. 
looking at me when I pee. Yeah, it's all over there. So I'm going through the hiking. Hiking path. Vanishing over there. Okay, so there's a two paths. So we... We saw him going north. Probably very bad idea. Okay, you you can't go down. 